Welcome to the fourth episode of Animal Battle. This episode is going to be an interesting one because you might realize that your whole life was a lie and you will learn some pretty interesting facts which might surprise you as we are going to compare two amazing candidates for the title of the best mammal in the world. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present you our two competitors. The Grey Wolf versus the Spotted Hyena. Also stick until the end of the video to find out who is the winner of the last battle between the brown and polar bear. Let's do it. I'm Mario and this is Animal Battle. Grey wolves and spotted hyenas have some similarities, but don't forget that the winner of Animal Battle isn't necessarily the strongest because we are going to evaluate them by six different characteristics. Agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill and survival. So let's begin with agility. Spotted hyenas can run with a speed of 60 km per hour, which is pretty great, but they are outspeeded by grey wolves, which can reach speeds of up to 55 to 70 km per hour. Their speeds are pretty impressive, but such speeds can also be reached by other large felids. What sets wolves and hyenas apart and gives them bonus agility points is the fact that, unlike felids which can run at high speeds for a short distance and period of time, grey wolves and spotted hyenas can run for kilometers and don't get tired as quickly. Spotted hyenas can chase the prey for 5 kilometers, so the prey will get tired eventually. Grey wolves usually give up after 1 to 2 kilometers, but one wolf was recorded to chase a deer for 21 kilometers. That is half a marathon. So we can say that both of them have high agility stats, but the grey wolf wins here because of its speed and the ability to travel for bigger distances. Agility stats are interesting, but I know you can't wait for me to compare their power. So let's go right to attack and defense stats. On average, grey wolves can measure 105 to 160 cm in length, plus a 29 to 50 cm tail. They usually weigh around 30 to 50 kg. The largest one recorded weighed 80 kg. The size of spotted hyenas might seem a little bit strange. They usually have a body length of 95 to 165 cm, but females are actually larger and stronger than males, weighing 45 to 64 kg, while males weigh just around 40 to 55 kg. This is strange because in most species of mammals, males are larger than females. But in spotted hyenas it is the other way around. Spotted hyenas kill their prey brutally. Small prey is being shaken in the mouth while large prey is eaten alive. To kill a large prey like a moose, grey wolves bite it from behind, making it to bleed. And to kill medium-sized prey, wolves bite the throat to suffocate it. Wolves are also highly territorial, but what gives a spotted hyena a lot of points is the fact that it has an extremely powerful bite. It has one of the strongest bites relative to its weight, and uses it to crush the bones of a prey. Both of them have competitors. Spotted hyenas live in Africa and are stronger than other hyenas. They can steal the prey from cheetahs and leopards, but sometimes male leopards can beat them. Their biggest enemies are lions, which are more powerful and can steal their prey. Grey wolves can be found all across Eurasia and North America. They can kill coyotes, foxes and doves. In Israel they might encounter striped hyenas. Brown bears are stronger than them and can sometimes kill grey wolves or their pups, but wolves can also kill the brown bears' cubs. So their only serious predators are tigers, which are much stronger than grey wolves. Also, grey wolves have some extra defense points because of a long hair around their neck. So we can observe that hyenas are slightly better at attack due to their powerful bite and wolves at defense because they have a thick coat around their neck for protection. Even though both grey wolves and spotted hyenas have pretty high attack and defense stats, they are still no match for bigger felids and bears. But don't worry because they have a lot of bonus skill points. Grey wolves have a good sense of smell, being able to detect prey from 2 to 3 kilometers away. Spotted hyenas on the other side have very good auditory perception. They can detect sounds of predators killing prey or feeding on carcasses over distances of up to 10 kilometers. Also, unlike wolves, hyenas rely more on their sight. Now things are about to get sexual, because we are going to talk about reproduction organs. Just joking, don't worry, it's just biology. But if you still don't want to see that, you can skip for some seconds. So, what would you say if I told you that this is a female? <laughs> Seriously, it is a female and that is her clitoris, which is positioned and shaped like a penis. It is called pseudopenis, and scientists still don't understand its purpose. You might imagine that it is pretty hard to reproduce with that thing, and females have to retract it if they accept to reproduce with a male. But it doesn't have any evolutionary advantage, because females are still stronger and can defend on their own. Also, when the female gives birth for the first time, in 6 out of 10 cases the cub gets stuck in that organ and dies, which is not good for the female, which can also die. The next births go smoother, but it is still unknown why would they develop such an organ. Enough talk about pseudopenises. 
Let's see why spotted hyenas and grey wolves should have a lot of bonus kill points. It is because they live and hunt in groups. Living and hunting in group is a huge bonus for an animal species, because together they are a lot stronger and can even beat our stronger felids or bears. Spotted hyenas are organized in groups of at most 80 individuals named clans. They have a very interesting organization. All females have a higher status than males. The newborn cubs inherit their mother status. They get the best food and the best places to sleep, and the cubs of the dominant female are taken care by all the other females. For the female cubs inheriting a higher status, life will be wonderful. The same can't be said about their brothers, which, after becoming two years old, are forced to leave their clan and go look for a new one. After being bullied by the members of a new clan, they are finally accepted, having the lowest status in the clan. They get the fewest and the worst part of the prey, and can't go higher by defeating other males. They have to wait for other males to join the clan, or for males which have a higher status to die. So it is pretty bad to be a male hyena. I think I don't need to tell you about the organization of grey wolf packs, because everybody knows that unrelated wolves form a pack, the strongest ones becoming the alpha male and female, and the omegas have to beat the alpha in order to become the new leader. But actually, this is all wrong. The leaders of the pack are the parents, which care for their pups until they get old enough to help them with hunting and raising new pups. Usually, they don't accept unrelated members, and the leaders aren't the strongest wolves in the pack, but the parents, which contradicts the whole theory about Alpha and Omega wolves. Once again, I realized that my whole life was a lie. But don't worry, this isn't the first time you were misled. You can check out my video Jaguar vs Leopard. So you can observe that both spotted hyenas and grey wolves have high bonus kill stats, mainly due to them living in groups. Now let's talk about intelligence. Both hyenas and wolves are pretty intelligent, being predators and social animals. Spotted hyenas work very good in groups. In an experiment, two hyenas had to tag two ropes in unison to earn a food reward and they figured it out very quickly. Experienced hyenas even helped the inexperienced ones to solve a problem. Grey wolves are also intelligent, having very good hunting strategies. They form a polygon around the prey and most of the wolves distract the prey's attention while the leader tries to kill it. It is hard to say which one is smarter, but spotted hyenas and grey wolves definitely have a lot of intelligence points. And last, but not least, let's talk about survival. Because there is no use to have high stats if a species is going extinct, both of them are listed as a least concerned species. There are around 27,000 to 47,000 spotted hyenas in the wild. They can have 2 to 4 cubs and can live from 4 to 8 years depending if they are males or females, because males live twice less than females. There are around 300,000 grey wolves in the wild. They can give birth to 4 to 7 pups and can live up to 7 to 8 years in the wild. So, overall, spotted hyenas and grey wolves are amazing animals and have high stats. Grey wolves winning at agility, defense and survival, while spotted hyenas are winning at attack and bonus skill. So let other people know how amazing these animals are, sharing it with your friends, family and babushka. And you can vote the winner of today's animal battle by clicking right there and leave your opinions in the comments down below. I think it is going to be really close, so even though you comment who you think is the winner, consider to vote in the poll right there. Now I'm going to announce the winner of an animal battle between the brown and polar bear. So, after counting the votes, the winner is... The polar bear! An amazing animal with high stats overall. Brown bear fans shouldn't be upset, because even though the polar bear is the one going further, Brown bears are still impressive animals and we should understand that all animals are amazing. So once again don't forget to vote for this episode's winner in the top right corner. Respect animals.